this is going to be a tough one. So let's dive in. This is the question we're working with today. Go ahead and pause. Check that out. Frankly, I'm unsure about how to go about answering this question. Like, there's a, there's some layers. So let's start at the end and work backwards. The Catholic Church may or may not profit off of all of these. I think in some sort of long-term endgame they're profiting. But if you buy a rosary from just a place that probably came from like an individual that made it who was most likely profiting or whatever store you bought it from, very few are directly like correlated to the Catholic Church. It's not like a mafia. They don't all pay tithes or like funnel money up to the Godfather Pope. Like that's not how it works. Now I want to skip around to that top question. Top two, I should say. Why do we need the rosary? You don't. You don't need it. It's just fucking helpful. It's a tool. Like, why do you need a hammer? You don't. Technically, you can bash that nail into the wall with your hand, but it might be easier. And did God say that? No, but God didn't say much of anything. Even even in the Bible, he didn't really say nothing. But we can talk about the word of God versus God's words another day. How is a rosary different from prayer beads? In some ways, it's not. They are chants or prayers that you say with a bead to both keep track of your prayers and, in a sense, it charges the beads with the prayers to create like this residual prayer effect. But they're different than Buddhist beads, than mala, because they're different. They come out of a different practice. They have a different order of prayers and they very literally look different fundamentally you're just using them to keep track of prayers and again they're a tool to pray so you can say they're the same but you'd also be missing out on a lot of context and a lot of rich cultural expression on all fronts did jesus and the apostles use prayer beads i have no fucking idea i wasn't there nobody was we don't fucking know maybe maybe not maybe there is this one belief that Jesus spent time in India and in Egypt and in like China and learning all of these different mysticisms. So maybe, maybe, but that's just conspiracy and hearsay at best. Rosaries, prayer beads, they're entirely optional. They are to help you meditate. They are to help you pray. It's not a requirement. And the Catholic Church usually doesn't profit off of most of those. However, they can benefit like passively from your own mentality, especially some of those like little slick prayers, like that fucking adaptation of the Catholic Church inside of the Apostles' Creed. That shit is subliminal. That shit will definitely turn into coin money at some point. But the beads themselves are just beads, bro. Happy praying.